Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Revenge of Shinobi for Genesis and Mega Drive. We are now on round four. Shoots forward, so that way you get rid of the first soldier right there at the start. And then jump on top of the first car and jump all the way up, shoot to the left, you'll find an extra ninjutsu icon. There's a bomb. I did that on accident, but it let me take care of that guy anyway. Duck down on the beginning of the roof of that car down there, where the second bomb is and shoot forward to get rid of another soldier. And from there, you got another soldier, some more pickups. And thankfully, by ducking down when this guy is close to the cars, we can just kick him to death. I'm gonna do a double jump attack here to get rid of some guys, and also open some boxes. That gets rid of the bomb here. And this guy's blocking a large health pickup, so let's go ahead and take him down. Duck down here, try not to accidentally slash because the box is nearby. Get the power up. Now you want to go all the way to the hood of that car, duck down, shoot to the right. It'll go through that wall, that's the only way you can get it to do it. And you can take care of that flamethrower guy. We got two more double shur shuriken power-ups that we can pick up and I'll gladly take those. And we'll use our sword to take care of these two flamethrower guys. Gonna use the double jump attack again. The top box contains, I believe, another double shuriken power up? No, it's a small heart. That box over there contains another ninjutsu power up that I want to pick up. Of course, I have to take care of that flamethrower guy to get it, and we are now on section two, where I will use the jutsu of Fujin, because it will make getting through this part of round four far faster. Don't get crushed by anything. Don't run in any bombs. And I'm jumping up here, which is only possible with Fusion, in order to get up here. Don't know why I opened that. There's a bomb there. And up there is the top center of the stage. I want to be over there because if I go to the right from that place, I will be able to go further to the right and to the end of the stage. By the way, don't get all the way to the left on that set of flame jets over there. That do damage you, by the way. Because flame dust won't damage you, but the guy's feet of the guy laying there prone, ready to shoot, will. Gonna do some more double jumping with Fujin to get over here. I'm probably gonna get hit by the flame jets. Easy trek to the exit. And now we got this guy. You want to take some short hops and shoot this guy with shurikens in the head. And you want to stay far away from him. If you're too close, he'll try to do a tackle attack. And it goes pretty fast. You'll know he's getting ready to do the tackle attack when he squats down in a three-point stance. And you basically just want to stay near this wall of junk and double jump over everything he throws at you. All the while taking short hops, making sure that you're able to hit him with a single shuriken in the, in the face every time you want to attack him. He'll eventually explode, revealing that he is a cyborg. You want to get away from him, so jump back up to the wall of junk. And he'll eventually explode away from you. And that is it for round four. Join me next time for round five. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!